Hello, this is So Jun Lee from Prong University of Science and Technology. I will present about how can you measure narrative fluency in textual narratives by analyzing dynamic interaction networks. We can define narrative fluency as readability and understandability of narratives. Most kinds of multimedia include storytelling and they also aim to, aim to deliver their content to, content to users. Whether their storytelling strategies are adequate for conveying their content will, will be one of the key features for evaluating quality of the narrative, narrative multimedia. As, as a preliminary study, we restrict our subject into textual narratives. Narratives are series of events. Also, ev events consist of a series of, of interactions, interactions between entities. Therefore, we can model, model a narrative as a dynamic interaction network. We suppose that paragraphs in narrative text correspond to events. Sentences corresponds to interactions and nouns in sentences corresponds to entities. The nouns are nodes in the nodes in the entity networks and and weights on the edges between the nodes can be measured by using the number of sentences that knows knows co-occurred narrative narrative fluency will will consist of various features but in this study in this study we suppose two main features of the narrative fluency first one is narrative consistency Paragraphs in textual narrative should have topical currents between each other and within each one. Since paragraphs in well-written text usually have topical currents and completion, we suppose <coughs> keywords of the narrative text will have high centrality in the, in the entity networks. Thus, we can we can assess narrative consistency in three criteria in a paragraph there should be few entities with significantly high centrality also between paragraphs topical words have to have high centrality consistently finally terms in titles titles or abstract should be as with keywords in bodies because users users expect contents of the narrative text based on their titles or abstracts second second feature is the narrative rapidity <clears throat> content of textual narratives has to be presented gradually with uh, adequate rapidity if we use too few interactions or events for depicting content, there can be logical leaps. Otherwise, if we describe the content too slowly, there might be meaningless redundancy. The narrative rapidity should be adjusted regarding its purposes or expected leaders. The narrative development will accompany new entities and new relationships between the entities therefore therefore we can measure the rapidity based on structural changes in the narrative uh, in entity networks <clears throat> to measure the narrative consistency First, we focus on a paragraph. A paragraph should be focused on, on each topic. 
we assess the narrative consistency in each paragraph by using the entropy of the centrality of entities. Maybe uh, may, if, if there are few entities with high centrality, this measurement will have high value. Second, <clears throat> to measure the narrative consistency on overall text, we assume that keywords of narrative text should have high centrality consistently. Similar to the previous measurement, we assess whether keywords have consistently high centrality based on the entropy. Also, or, uh, as with the previous one, uh, in a narrative text, there are if there are few few entities with high centrality, this measurement will have high value. <clears throat> Third one is about the consistency between titles and bodies. Terms in titles and headlines should be as with the keywords of bodies. Therefore, we apply Jacquard index between the, between the terms, in, terms in titles and keywords of bodies. For these three, for these three measurements, we simply we, we aggregate them simply by using our arithmetic mean. For the narrative rapidity, for the narrative rapidity, we measure them based on structural changes in entity networks. To compare the structure of narrative. Uh, structure of the <coughs> entity networks, we use network embedding methods. After the embedding, embedding entity networks on each paragraph, we compare, we compare the, uh, we measure how much structure, structural changes is made by each paragraph. Second, based on the narrative, rapi narrative rapidity, we assess narrative rapidity of narrative texts based on whether, whether, the, <coughs> whether the narrative rapidity is maintained, appropriate, uh, maintained appropriately. We assume that too slow or too fast changes in entity networks hinder the readability of the narrative. Therefore, therefore, after normalizing the rapidity of, of each paragraph, we aggregate the difference between the optimal rapidity and rapidity on each paragraph, paragraph by, by using arithmetic mean. The, the optimal, optimal narrative rapidity will be different from different from kinds of kinds kinds of uh, narrative text or 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 domains uh, we determine the narrative uh, optimal narrative optimal narrative rapidity based on empirical experiment we evaluate the accuracy of the measurement by estimating fluency of the editorials in the New York Times. We compare the result of the proposed measurement with responses of 37 human evaluators. An evaluator answered for one editorial. We asked the evaluators to lead editorials with which they want. The number of uh, the number of evalu uh, the total number of evaluated editorials was twelve. The questionnaire for collecting usual responses consists of seven questions. Question one is about the uh, keywords of each each editorial. Question two is about about how. Uh, about narrative consistency of the editorials. Third question is about the non-consistent 
paragraph that causes non uh, that causes non consistency. Question four is about the narrative rapidity of the editorial. Question five is also about which paragraph could, uh, which which paragraph has inappropriate rapidity. Question six about the narrative fluency that users feel, and question seven uh, is about the non-fluent non-fluent paragraphs. Uh, first experiment about about keyword extraction. If the entity network model is reasonable, high centrality entities will will be keywords of each narrative text. Therefore, we compared keywords annotated by the evaluators with automatically discovered one. As a baseline method, we use TFIDF-based based keywords. <clears throat> In comparison, uh, the proposed method uh, performed the baseline method, but, but both of the methods commonly showed, showed low liquor. We assume the, the low liquor mainly caused by the, caused by, uh, caused because uh, we did not, we did not put much natural language processing techniques. Therefore, therefore, uh, therefore the proposed method could not consider uh, synonyms or hyponyms in the narrative text. <clears throat> second, second, to validate our assumptions, we measured correlations between the, between the proposed measurements and usual responses. First, we measure correlations between uh, fluency annotated by the evaluators, narrative consistency annotated by the evaluators, and automatically measured narrative consistency. Also, we, we measured correlations between uh, fluency, uh, narrative fluency annotated by the evaluators, annotated narrative rapidity, and automatically measured narrative rapidity. As shown in the in the table A, <clears throat> we can see that we can see we can see that user said narrative cons uh, narrative consistency and narrative fluency have have high have high correlation. Also, between the automatically measured narrative consistency and user annotations it also showed reasonable correlation. However, in case of narrative rapidity, narrative rapidity, the, rapid, the rapidity that users annotated had low, had low correlation with the, with the, with the narrative fluency. Also, also, the automatically measured narrative rapidity have low correlation with the annotated rapidity. However, however, the automatically measured rapidity have higher correlation with the annotated fluency than narrative consistency. It means the proposed measurement for narrative rapidity are correlated to are correlated to narrative fluency, but uh, but uh, maybe it it reflect other fit other features which is not the narrative rapidity. We have to uh, in future work we have to examine what feature exactly reflected reflected by the proposed measurement. Also, also we we evaluated a curious, uh, We evaluated where, whether the proposed measurement can be used for detecting non-fluent paragraphs. 
We compare non-fluent paragraphs annotated by the evaluators with the paragraphs detected by the proposed method. Uh, in in this study, actually, we did not we did not propose method for detecting non-fluent paragraphs. So we simply we simply used first quartile of uh, first quartile of narrative consistency measurement as a non-consistent paragraphs. Also, for first and fourth quartile of narrative rapidity narrative rapidity measurement as uh, as the paragraphs which are not which uh, which have inappropriate rapidity uh, in the experimental research uh, narrative consistent measurements have reasonable accuracy but narrative rapidity measurements have low accuracy uh, however as we mentioned in this study we have not we have not proposed sophisticated methods for detecting non-fluent paragraphs. Uh, therefore, based on this reasonable accuracy of narrative consistency, we assume that the, the proposed, uh, this approach is capable of improvement. Conclusively, the proposed measurements are correlated to the narrative fluency. However, these studies still have the following limitations. First, the definition of narrative fluency should be concrete, should be more concrete than current status. Also, there will be more aspects of the narrative fluency. So we have to, uh, we will attempt to find find other features consisting the <coughs> narrative fluency in future work. Finally, we have not conducted experiments on enough kinds of narrative text. In future works, we will solve this kind of uh, limitations. Thank you for listening.